Hi, today I want to continue the series about the NRF51822 from Nordic Semiconductor. And today's topic is the UCG lib from Olli Kraus. It's a graphics library special for driving OLED and TTF color displays. You can get it from GitHub, github slash Olli Kraus slash UCG lib. I've downloaded it from command line with git clone and then the url and to the path ucglib. For the wiring you need the vcc and ground i use 3.3 volt and the spi pins mosi and clock and inside the ucglib i use the client select pin the reset and the data and command line and on gpio we have to steer our led backlot. Here you see the wiring with the development board for the NF51822. It's just using the GPIO pins and the 3.3 volt output and the ground. And here's some overview about using the UCG lib. First we set our GPIO pins, then the SPI driver, then we set all the GPIO pins used by the UCG lib, then we initialize the UCG lib with a display and a special driver for the NIF51822, and then we send all the UCG lib commands. For the NIF51822 driver for the UCG lib, we only have to write a handful of messages that is sent via the UCG lib. Let's do a quick source code walkthrough. First the main file, here is the header files and the definition of the GPIO ports and we also need the custom board header file for the MOSI pins. Here we can see the clock pin is on 25, the MOSI pin is on 24 and the client select is on 22, but not used inside the SPI because the UCG lib needs to self steer the client select line. And then we set up the SPI driver with instance zero. Next, there's some code from the UCG lib. It's all examples copied from Arduino with some little changes. Then we have our main routine. First, we set up the GPIO pins as usual. Then we set up SPI as usual. And I also use the random generator. We can have a look at it. Then we set up the UCG lib pins for reset, data command and client select. Then we init UCG with a driver for our display. I use the ILI 9341. Then we use some color settings and a special the driver for NIF51822. And we can have a look at this later. Then we set some font um, modes and I use a font from the UCG lib. Then we display the UCG logo, do some 3D cubes, pixel aligns, triangles, fonts, clips, gradient and box display. And I display some text and we continue the loop endlessly. So let's have a look at some commands. First, the GPIO config. It's only the backlight we have to configure and switch the backlight on. Then the SPI config as usual. Set the clock pin and the MOSI pin and some frequency and modes and so on. And then init the SPI driver. Then the same for the random generator. We just in initialize the random generator. Then all the other code is from Arduino examples. Now have a look at for the UCG NIF51822 driver. It's just only about 100 lines, but most of them are self-explained. So first we power up and do some 
settings for our GPIO pins. Then we set the delay using the NIF delay function. Then switch the reset on or off. Do some client select wiring. Do command and data wiring. Send a message via SPI. It's only one byte. Then we send one byte via SPI or two bytes via SPI or three bytes via S SPI. Then we send some random length data or do a sequence with um, command and datas. And that's it. So we can have a look to the make file. It's just a normal make file with some changes for using the pin list inside the UCG lib, using some messages. We set the include files, where to find the header files, and we set where to find the C files. It's inside UCG lib and C sources. And it's all unchanged. It's just a normal download from the UCG lib. And then we include all our object files, including our self written driver and the main and that's it so we can make do some make i clean all so we only clean the build directory then we go to build all just four seconds and then we do a flash and verify and 3.4 seconds for flashing so now we can have a look at the display. It's not the fastest because the NF51822 is a low power chip and only runs with a 16 megahertz and the SPI only does 8 megahertz. So don't expect any special super driving display. And we start with a 3D cube just rotating about some axis and then the display is very slow filled with a gradient and we display some pixels then next we very very slowly fill the next gradient and do some triangles Okay, it's not hopefully not so boring because you can count all the triangles to display. Maybe you know the number from the source code. It's about 100. So don't expect very fast display from the triangle. Next, another gradient is filled through the display. And the demo code from Arduino shows different font and different font sizes. And then the next gradient is very, very slowly filled into the screen. And just the last demo, some boxes are displayed on the screen. Thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoy the video and give me a thumb up. And if you not have subscribed, so please subscribe to my channel. All the source code can found at GitHub. And if you wish some more information about the NAF51822 chip, then you can visit my blog on Blogspot. And as always, I hope you learned something today.